Block in the sky with soft blue pastel, then smooth with a finger. Add the clouds in with soft white, but don't overdo the clouds. Block in the sea with a darkish blue. Add a touch of green and blend. With a dark pencil, strengthen up the outlines of the figures and the boat so as not to be lost in the blending action. Add a small white triangle for a yacht. This helps to show distance in the painting. This section is with ultramarine blue. Smooth out and once again add some dark outlines for reference and finish the blending. Begin indicating the shadows for the water ripples. It must get more detailed closer to the boat. Look at the reference photograph for help. Now, with a very light blue pencil stick, add the reflections to the top of the ripples. Paint the hat with white and yellow ochre. Add the deep shadows with a black pencil. Use burnt sienna for the flesh color and black for the hair and arm shadows. Pull the shirt in with soft white and blend in the folds with a blue pencil. Deepen up the shadows with a darker blue and then use a very dark blue for his jeans. The outboard motor is painted with a black pencil. And using a white pencil, tone down the areas reflecting the light, which is coming from the right hand side. Use a dark blue or patello blue for the deep shadow in the boat, getting much lighter towards the left side. Yeah, you can see I lightened up the front with too much white. Use black to darken up even further and add the top of the gunnel with a white pencil. The decking is with a light blue and burnt sienna blend. And begin some of the outlining. Deepen up the dark shadows with black and a touch of blue and white. Add the Rolox and the fishing reel. Start with the prow and the highlight of the gunwale. Paint in the dark stripe with either black or a dark blue and blend evenly. Fill in the side with soft white and smooth out and then gently add the shadows with light blue in the prow and getting slightly darker at the stern shade the darker shadows with patello blue Continue shading the side of the boat and the bags on the side. With a soft white pastel stick, add the splashing of the water and the water movement around the boat. Finish painting the fishing rod
Please like this video if you enjoyed watching it. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe so we can inform you when we bring out more new tutorials like this one. If you would like to see the paint-along version of this class, then head over to our website onlineartlessons.com.